Hello. Welcome to Dan Explains It All. Today we're here to talk about the Fault V2. I don't think you and I ever talked about Fault V1, uh, but we don't really have to rehash those features because they're all in here along with a bunch of new ones. Let's get into it. We've got Brady playing a Stingray through an Earth amp. Sounds big and clean. Turn the fault on. Set the knobs at noon, except for the volume, which we'll put at unity. Nice soft little initial gain stage. Also soft, feel these switches. I mean, you can't feel them, but they're soft touch switches now, which is nice. It just uses a standard nine volt center negative DC power still. Uh, true bypass when it's off, relays when it's on. So let's start with the gain range of gain one, which is the first gain stage, as you might have guessed. I'm going to turn it all the way down. I'm going to bump this volume knob and show you how much boost you have on tap with the gain knob all the way down. Basically, this can act as a pretty big clean boost. Just huge volume going into whatever your next stage is. I'm going to dial the volume back to about a quarter of the way. Slowly turn the gain up. So you can hear how on that gain one knob, you basically have a range between super clean boost and a pretty crunchy overdrive sound. Uh, basically, it's just steadily turning up the gain and bringing that clean signal out and just more gain signal in. Uh, you can also hit the boost toggle, which is a new, new feature for V2. And it's in the down position right now, so that's the lower gain range. When I kick it up, it just gives this extra boost to the gain one knob. So now if I dial it all the way back, it's a little less clean. But when I max it out, it's pretty heavily distorted. So the last piece of what we'll call the, this first gain section is the voice control. And this is also new for the Fault V2. Uh, V1 tonally was something like this. It was as if like the voice control was just a bit above me. Essentially what the voice control does for you is allows you to shape this initial gain stage as either a pretty dark overdrive or a pretty bright and pretty loud overdrive. So at noon you'll get the most neutral voice out of that, um, that initial gain stage. Just giving you a bit of, of mid sweetening and extra gain. So that's first gain stage. Check out the second one. Nothing's happening. That's because the gain two knob is connected to the gain two toggle. If it's all the way down, it won't make a difference. But as we start to bring it up, you get an extra boost to your gain. And basically what's happening is we're doing our initial gain shaping through that gain one voice boost set of controls. And then gain two hits an additional stage later on, and you're just boosting this gain to really slam that, that second stage. And you can use that as a switchable distortion boost. You can switch between, let's back off the overdrive a little bit, move between your sort of basic overdrive sound and your clean amp and then just give you that little push further over the edge. And at all these settings, you'll notice that it's pretty, pretty reactive, pretty dynamic. Uh, so if you back off on your volume, your pick attack, you'll get a pretty clean drive sound. I mean, not clean, but you know what I mean. And um, as you dig in harder, it'll just give you more and more distortion, more crunch. So that's the basic gain range. After gain one and gain two, the next step in our circuit is the three-band EQ, 
uh, which existed on the Fault V1, but it wasn't on sliders, so it wasn't fun like it is on the Fault V2. Let's check out the range of each of those sliders. I'm going to bring them all down first. Almost gone. Pretty big amount of cut available on each of these. Low toggle brings in your lows. You just hear that kind of like thump of the low end there. Mid, where all that sweetness is. And high, all that cut and attack and aggression. Back to a more neutral voice. You can check out like kind of a mid boosted, heavy overdrive. Heavily scooped, really aggressive drive. There's a lot of versatility within these sliders. I like it about there. Do like a neutral gain one, pretty high, gain two, slamming it. Voice it so the lows and mids are pretty neutral, a bit of extra high. Nice crunch. So we're almost there. This is a really accessible pedal. There's a whole lot of gain range in it, but it doesn't take a lot to understand. Let's check out the last thing, which is the crush toggle. You'll notice that the gain, or the, the volume dropped. Basically what's happening is we're adding one last clipping stage at the end of all of this. So you've gone through your gain one clipping stage, your gain two clipping stage, all the voicing controls, the, the three band EQ that comes after gain two, and then finally, you have just some hard diodes to ground that crush whatever hits them right before you go out of the pedal. So the fun part of this is you can now drive it with your EQ controls. And it's just this huge, crunchy, gross, but then still clear in a way sound. If you hit the voice control high, like while we're just totally maxed out, it'll start to squeal on you. It's fun. You can kind of play with your volume knob, get it to do different pitches as you go along. And notice that we're still keeping that volume knob pretty well below noon, because again, uh, showed you the clean boost earlier. Now think of all that gain we've stacked on top of it and imagine boosting it. I'm not even going to do it because I don't want to hurt Brady and the rest of us. That's it. That's the Fault V2 from Old Blood Noise Endeavors. It's available now. Sounds real nice. Thanks for hanging out.